Hey, welcome back to the channel. Ashley and Aiden here for the Southern Plains Life YouTube channel. It's been a while since we've been in front of the camera, so welcome back. And guess what time it is in Oklahoma? It is springtime, time to start planting. And today, Aiden and I are gonna be putting some more dirt in the above guard ground, in the above ground garden, and uh, planting some strawberries. We got some all-star strawberries we got from our local nursery. We got 18 of them. And then we are also gonna be putting more dirt in here. As you can see, it's kinda, kinda fallen over the year. So, uh, Aiden, you excited to be in front of the camera? Very. You guys have probably haven't heard of Aiden in a while. He's uh, been playing a lot of soccer lately, as you've seen in some of the uh, uploads. So, let's go ahead and start working this. Before we start putting dirt in here to raise the level up, since it's kind of compacted over the last year, uh, we gotta dig these up right here, these strawberries here. I'm um, surprised they made them through the, uh, the last couple of weeks because most of you know, most of the United States got hit by a real bad winter storm and they actually survived. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't put hay over them. I didn't do anything and they actually survived. Now these are not all stars. I don't know, I don't recall what they are. They start with the Q or V. I just don't remember. And as you can tell, like most of us gardeners, we're starting to transition our, our gardens right here. That's where the tomatoes were last year. So this is where the watermelon and the cantaloupe were last year. And I'm gonna replace all, the, all this wood here with uh, two by sixes all the way around. As you can see, it's kind of starting to fall apart a little bit. It's been here since uh, 2009, I believe. Hi, Aubrey. Hi. She's gonna help us with the garden. So we got this mixed up. That's about 20 bags of uh, topsoil, 40 pounds each, plus two bags of uh, compost, some blood meal, and some bone meal, and, and some Epsom salt in there. So we're gonna, before we start putting it in here, we gotta dig these up, and then we'll All uh, right. replant so those. We're just gonna take a good chunk around this. destroy too many of the roots. Like I said, I just planted them last year. All right. Kind of see the root ball here. We'll just put them over here because we'll just plant those as soon as we get this dirt up. We'll plant them right near the same spot. And we'll just leave all this stuff down and put the dirt on top of it. It's all organic material anyways. So it'll decompose and go right back in it. So we, Aiden and I filled this up. As you can see, we got it right underneath the boards here, the two by fours. Um, that's kind of where I want it because it's going to settle anyways and so it'll compress a little bit. That way the, uh, the plants will go down a little bit lower and hopefully get kind of blocked from all the wind and um, kind of be a little bit more protective. All right, while Aiden and Aubrey are practicing soccer, just kicking the ball around, I'm going to go ahead and replant some of these. So I've got 18 of these. 
just going to lay them out. You can see how it goes. And if I have any extras, I'll just give them away. I how to do this last year, didn't I? Yep. All right. It's all yours now. Can I take off this? Yeah, take all those out. And what are these called? Tomato pants. Nope, these are strawberries. Strawberries. Same with us, we can bring these in a little bit. 
we got all this room right in here. We can plant. So we'll go ahead and bring this on in. experience yes funny thing it's just fun Think of. Huh? Right, Aiden and I just finished up with the strawberries. As you can see, we planted all 18 of them in here. Uh, those are uh, those two at the end are from last year, and then these are the new ones for this year. We got them all mulched up. And the uh, remaining dirt that we had left over, we just put in this one here. And that'll be next. So we'll start doing some uh, um, tomatoes and jalapenos in this one this year again. And then, uh, like I said, strawberries, those will remain strawberries until they die off. And then I'm gonna do another third leg right here. I'll build another one. So these plants that I uh, just planted, the all-stars, they are June bearing. Um, strawberries so come about June in the middle of summer we'll have strawberries and pretty much anything after that it pretty much starts getting too hot here in central Oklahoma and just really the, any other plants don't start producing uh, in, in the heat here in Oklahoma even no matter how much we water them or kind of shade them in the summer so that's why I went with the all-star because because of, of the June bearing fruit and as you can see some of them already had the flowers the bloom is coming out on them so Hopefully they'll do okay, well this Okay, so year. this whole project took probably uh, 45 minutes mixing the dirt, doing the dirt, even putting in that dirt over there into that that uh, above ground garden right there. Uh, like I said, these are the all-star strawberry plants. They say these are probably the best here in central Oklahoma since they're June bearing uh, berries uh, because it does get really hot starting in July and, and August where it just won't bloom anything out and the, uh, the berries will just dry up on the vine. So hopefully these will work a little bit better this year. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.